Olorun, supreme being in the Yoruba religion. Olorun, Yoruba alphabet, Olorun, is the ruler of, or in, the heavens in the Yoruba religion. The supreme deity or supreme being in the Yoruba pantheon, Olorun is also called Elodomer, Yoruba alphabet, Elodomer, Elegimer and Elegua, Elegua. In Yoruba culture, Olorun is credited with creating the universe and all living things. Olorun is frequently perceived as a compassionate entity who protects its creations and is thought to be omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. Humans do not worship Olorun directly, there are no sacred areas of worship, no iconography, nor ordained person. Olorun is outlying, distant, and does not partake in human rituals. There are no shrines or sacrifices dedicated directly to them, although followers can send prayers in their direction. Olorun has no gender in the Ifa literary corpus, and is always referred to as an entity who exists in spiritual form only. Christian missionaries, such as Balaji Adou, aim to reinterpret traditional Yoruba culture as consistent with Christian theology as a way of pushing conversion. The first translation of the Bible into Yoruba in the late 1800s by Samuel Ajayi Crowther controversially adopted traditional Yoruba names, such as Olodomer, Olorun, God, and Eshu, for the devil, and thus began associating Olorun with the male gender. Because of this, there are many different ways that Yoruba people and their descendants or Orissa-based faiths can understand the idea of Olorun. Historically, the Yoruba worship Olorun through the agency of the Orissa, thus there is no image, shrine or sacrifice made directly towards Olorun, since Olorum is known to be everything and everywhere. There is some controversy about whether Olodomer is directly worshipped, due to their aloofness from humanity, or due to the belief that Olorum already is all manifestation of life and existence, and the believer is bound to be grateful and loving towards all existence, and all beings, since Olorum is everything. However, there are those who also worship Olodomer directly. Olodomer is the origin of virtue and mortality, and bestows the knowledge of things upon all persons when they are born. Olorun is omnipotent, transcendent, unique, all-knowing, good, and evil. These Orissa or Orishas are supernatural beings, both good, Igungan, and bad, Iogun, who represent human activity and natural forces, all at the same time, and is all harmonious, all possessed of equilibrium and worth. Western Ideology Olodomer, the source of creation, the Lord God of the source of creation. Olorun, the source of creation, the Lord God of heaven. In Trinidad Orisha, he is known as Orin, further explanation needed, creator of the cosmology and all that exists, a.a. Etymology. From the Yoruba language, Olorun's name is a contraction of the words Oni, which denotes ownership or rulership, and Orin, which means the heavens, abode of the spirits. Another name, Olodomer, comes from the phrase, Oni Odu Ma Ri, meaning, the owner of the source of creation that does not become empty, or the all-sufficient. In popular culture, Olorun is mentioned in the song, the Rhythm of the Saints, from the 1990 solo album The Rhythm of the Saints by Paul Simon. Olorun appears as one of the gods in the Smite game series.